Hi, I'm Kyle, and I maintain the instruments for Inspire Music. In this video, we're going to learn how to properly take care of a violin. The violin has several distinct parts that we're going to talk about today. The tuning pegs, the fine tuners, the bridge, and the strings. The tuning pegs adjust the tuning of the strings of the violin so they sound in tune with each other. The fine tuners help with this job by getting things just right at the very end of that process. The strings themselves vibrate, which produces the sound in the violin. The bridge transfers this vibration to the body of the violin, which then amplifies the sound to make it louder so we can hear it. The violin's bow is the part of the violin we draw across the strings to make the sound. You'll see here that the bow that I am holding has loose, fuzzy-looking hairs. In order to play the violin, these have to be tightened. In order to tighten them, there's a screw on the end of the bow. We tighten the screw, which pulls the black wooden piece here, the frog, back. This tightens the strings, as you can see here. They now form a much smoother line. We only want the string hairs to be as tight as to allow a pencil's width between them and the wood of the bow. When you're done playing the violin, it is very, very important that you loosen the hairs on the bow again. We do this by turning the screw in the opposite direction so that the hairs look fuzzy again. If we forget to do this, it can cause the bow to warp, which can damage the bow and ultimately have it cause it to be replaced. Your violin also came with a piece of rosin in the case. The rosin is very important to helping the violin produce sound. The rosin is applied to the bow. If you have a bow with no rosin on it, you might hear sounds like this. Notice that we don't hear very much sound coming out of the violin. It is not because I'm not pushing hard enough or because I'm doing anything wrong. It is because the bow is not, does not have any rosin on it. Rosin makes the bow sticky, which helps it grab the strings as it pulls across. Here, I have a bow that I've pre-rosined, and you'll hear now that we get a nice healthy sound of the violin because the bow is sticky enough to grab the strings. There are also a few things that you should avoid doing to your violin to make sure that it continues to function properly. A very, very important one is to not try to tune the violin by yourself. When you first begin playing the violin, the violin may come out of tune. This is normal and natural. Please let your teacher tune the violin or bring it to Inspire Music where one of the staff there can help you tune it correctly. Should you tune the violin by yourself, there's a risk of breaking a string. And we don't want any broken strings. They can be quite loud and frightening. Also, we want to make sure that when you put the violin away, that it's put away correctly. The, sh case in the, vi the shape of the case of the violin helps us to put the violin in its face exactly the right way. However, we want to be very careful that we do not place the violin upside down in the case. This can cause the bridge to incur pressure when we close the case, which can cause damage to the violin. Also, when putting the violin away, we want to make sure that there is no music placed on top of the violin. Again, this can put pressure on the strings and the bridge, which can ultimately cause damage to these very delicate parts. Finally, your violin should have come with a shoulder rest. The shoulder rest should not be left on the body of the violin when it's put away. The shoulder rest can go either here, next to the scroll, and the neck, near the tuning pegs. Or, if your case has one, in the top pocket up here. 